What is up, YouTube? Welcome to part two of the Brazilian Who to Buy section. Uh, basically, on players that I really want to recommend to you to pick up when the game just comes out. And this is focusing on the Brazilian players and mainly the new or reintroduced players. So uh, let's get straight into it. It would be much appreciated before you f uh, finish this video to give it a thumbs up, a like. If we can get to 100 likes, that'll be appreciated. So the first player I want to show you is a new player. And this Guy is called Reina Santos Nascimento. Four star skilling, four star weak foot. That's a really tidy, um, you know, combination right there. He's got really nice physicals. Again, apart from really reactions and strength, and his skills are are pretty poor in places. I mean, there's some okay ones like ball control and things like that, but he is lacking in some really key areas. A lot of reds there, which isn't good to see. But he is a 68 rated player. He is going to be cheap. Um, plays for Fluminense, 90 pace, 77 dribbling, 61 shooting, 60. Uh, passing and 61 heading I think he can be a good bench player I don't think he's going to be really that expensive or rare um, but he's going to be an option if you're a pace whore he's probably going to be one of the best options to use just because he's probably one of the quickest cams uh, Brazilian anyway for a Brasilva so definitely one to look out for this next player I can't wait to show him is a returning player and that is Murias. If anyone remembers him in FIFA 12, he was the best skilling player I've used. And there was a lot of good players in FIFA 12. Um, but to use skills with anyone, you know, they, they do feel better. When they have four or five star skills, they feel a lot more nimble. They feel good to use. And Marias just felt the best out of anyone I use, even, you know, apart from, you know, the Ebras and stuff like that. And this year he is finally returning. He plays for a team, uh, Criciúma. Criciúma. I'm sorry if I butchered their team name. Uh, they're in the Brazilian league because now they've got a couple of leagues now uh, in FIFA 14 Ultimate Team, which is really really cool. So he is finally back, and uh, he's pretty much the same: 75 pace, 74 dribbling, nearly 70 shooting, nearly 70 passing. He is the all-round cam, five-star skill, four-star weak foot. I mean. This guy, I think, is going to be the best cam. He's going to be better than Elton um, for a Brasilva team, and I can't wait to get him. I hope he doesn't get price fixed too much. He's probably, out of most of these players, the one you really have to look at really early because there's not many five-star skillers, and this guy is going to be worth his weight in gold. So pick up as many Moraises as possible because I'll be doing the same thing. Let's go on to the next player. Again, another returning player, and this is Usinho. And probably my favorite CDM from FIFA 12. And I do say that I think he was a native cam. I converted him down to CDM in a 4 triple 2 and he was by far the best CDM I ever used in the whole game. Uh, he was so fun to use, especially with the five-star skills. He hasn't got that anymore. Um, early report said he was going to be five-star, but you know a lot of saying he's actually four star skills with three star weak foot and you look at those stats i mean look and the mentals physicals and skills everything is pretty much a orange the issue is is now he's a right wing that is really going to affect him because there is many options that you can have in that position for example you can have kelvin five star skills why would you go over with Asunio uh, instead? I mean, the only th reason I would see if you have Insigno is uh, I do believe he's got the high, high work rate. So maybe in like a 3-5-2, he could be quite useful. Uh, maybe in a right forward. But I mean, it's going to be really tough to use him if that is his position because there is probably better right wingers to use. But nevertheless, I think he's going to be a really good player and a really fun player to use, as you can see by his really impressive stats. Next player is, again, another returning player, and that is Manuel. And, uh, you know, this beast is absolutely back in FIFA 14, but he isn't a silver, which really kills him. It is, it is a shame. Um, his, you know, card is going to be a 75 rated, so we only just scraped into the golds, and he's going to be a non-shiny as well. 80 pace and 79 head in 76 defending that's all we really need to know the skill section you know like are pretty bad you know they're all reds apart from the areas that matter in the defending section um 84 strength he's going to be an absolute beast at 181 centimeters the only issue you're going to have with Manuel is there probably is better defenders to use. You have got, you know, uh, Thiago Silvers. You've got players like Dede, 
but I have heard Dede's gone down to 69 pay, so probably Manuel is the better option apart for Dede. But you still got the other players, Felipe Santana's, David Luiz. You still got uh, Mark Quinos, who's really been upgraded. Uh, so defending-wise, you might not struggle as much with the gold. In the silvers, you will, and it is a shame he is not a silver anymore. But he could be a really good player to use. Um, him and like Felipe Santana, or him and David Luiz are just going to be so fucking OP, and probably someone to look out for. He's going to be cheap just because he's. 75 and a non-shiny next player is someone i'm really hope to be as fun as i think he will be um i used him in fifa 13 and, and he was a 75 rated gold non-shiny he was such a good player and a fun player to use four star skills four star weak foot and look at those well-rounded mental physical and skills all in the uh, orange uh he even have decent strength with 67 and he's going to be an absolute beast if you're playing like a 4-3-3 uh or any formations where you have a native center mid him and wellington are easily the best and definitely someone i think you could command a pretty penny as well 75 pace 76 dribbling 72 shooting 77 passing they are some you know incredible stats and i think he is going to be so good and probably quite expensive as well all dependent on what formation is preferred for brasilvas and Let's go on to the next player, and this is a change player. He used to be a right winger. Now he is a left wing. Uh, this is Diego Farias. He's a 70-rated player. Four-star skills, two-star weak foot. The weak foot is really going to kill him. And on the left wing, there isn't tons of options now. Um, I know Martimo is actually a left back now in FIFA 14, which is really strange. Uh, so there isn't tons of options, and he will be your cheap, you know, maybe Serie A or Serie B. I think he might be with Sassuolo. Uh you know left winger but i think there's probably better options but he's definitely someone to keep an eye out on nevertheless and let's get on to the last little section which is a, a couple of players i wanted to show you and uh these are summing up a few that i didn't get around to mention and uh first of which is willian uh, look at those stats he's an 83 left winger for chelsea 88 pace 88 dribbling 71 shooting 78 passing that is pretty disgusting to say the least from left wing. He has four star skills as well. And I think four star weak foot, I want to say. Uh, he's going to be a really tidy BPL left winger uh, this year. Fernandinho, I mean, I've seen him in real life. I think he is pretty poor, pretty average from what I've seen from Man City. It doesn't look nowhere near as good as his stats. 83 pace, 81 dribbling, 76 shooting, 70 defending, 83 passing they're insane he's a non-rare non-shiny player so that means you know he's not going to be that rare to find that means he's going to be cheap so you know him and Ramirez you're going to see a lot in teams just because they have incredible stats for their prices and he's going to be quite cheap as well next to him on the right is a 74 rated striker Paulinho and he is I think the second best striker if you're counting Wally as the best striker because he still has five star skills Paulinho is second best mainly because he is now actually a four star skiller he used to be three now he's four 81 pace 73 dribbling 71 shooting 74 heading and nearly 70 passing he looks incredible four star skills he's going to be strong he's good in the air he's got four star skills good weak foot I think he's probably going to be my favorite Brasilva striker ahead of Wallison. I think he, because he's got the strength and he's got the aerial ability, he could play as the lone striker as well. And he would be great in a, like a 4-4-2 with another striker as well. So definitely one I'm really looking forward to trying. Another guy next to him on the right, Lucas Piazon. And we already know about him from careers and, um, and things like that. But he hasn't been on Ultimate Team uh, at all I don't think and uh, 73 rated he's actually a cam uh, which is surprising because he's usually a left winger left mid uh, and he plays for Vitesse Arnhem he's on loan with many others from Chelsea 76 pace 80 dribbling which is really incredible for a 73 cam 60 shooting 71 passing if he had a little bit better shooting I think this guy would have been absolutely incredible it'll be interesting to see how it correlates but four star skills definitely someone to take a look at uh, when the game is out Next player was my favorite player or favorite skiller with uh, probably Marias is Makusel. Uh, and he is 74 rated center forward, still at Udinese, and he is only going down. He was a uh, gold non Chinese last year. Now he's back into the silvers. 77 pace, 82 dribbling, 70 shooting, and six, uh, 76 passing. I mean, his stats dwarf Piazon's, and he looks incredible. Four star skills, four star weak foot. 
I mean, him and Marias are probably going to be my cams. There's a couple of other options that we can use, but they look incredible. So definitely go and pick up these players when the web app is out and when the game is released. It's much appreciated everyone that's watched these two parts of these videos and pl pl please put in the comments below like other other players i should do or other nations or leagues i should do and i will do them soon to inform you guys on who to go uh, go for when the game is out also follow my twitter which is at gorskino 10 as you can see in the middle it'll be really appreciated and then check some, uh, check my links in the description to other places like instagram and all that jazz i will see you in the next video until then please subscribe and peace